1-844-500-4242. That's the toll-free number of the Howie Carr Show. If you'd like to join us, today's poll question, if you want to take part in it, go to howiecarshow.com, howiecarshow.com. Today's poll question is brought to you by Val 6 Heaters. Visit them all this week at the Freiburg Fair in Maine or go to val6heat.com. Steve, what's the poll question? What are the results thus far? WikiLeaks' Julian Assange have the goods on Hillary Clinton. He's been able to deliver in the past whatever he's promised, so I'll I'll go uh, I'll go and say yes. Uh, just twenty two percent thinks he does not have the goods, but seventy eight percent are with you, Howie. Okay, one eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. When uh, when we co- when we come back after the bottom of the hour, we're going to have uh, Juanita Broderick with us. Uh, she is the woman who was uh, uh, raped, she says, by Bill Clinton back in nineteen seventy eight. He was the attorney general of Arkansas. She uh, operated in a nursing home in uh, rural Arkansas, and she was in Little Rock for some kind of conference. And uh, he said he wanted to meet with her, and she thought it would be a good opportunity to, you know, uh, uh, ingratiate herself, I would guess, to a uh, to a powerful politician. And they were going to meet at the coffee shop, and then at the last moment he said, let's go up to your hotel room uh, at the Camelot Hotel and uh, once he got inside uh, the room, he, uh, he, he jumped her and, uh, and raped her. And uh, she was uh, struggling to, uh, to, to fight off his, uh, his attack. And uh, he bit her lower lip and uh, drew, drew blood. And it was a, it was a pretty, uh, pretty brutal attack from, from all indications from what she said. And she has a witness, uh, the woman that she came down to uh, Little Rock with who saw her. And uh, Clinton, Clinton attacked her and uh, raped her, and uh, then he raped her a second time. And uh, then as he was uh, dressing himself, she was lying on the bed crying, and uh, the, she, her lower lip was bleeding from where he had bitten her. And he put on his sunglasses and said, you better get some ass on that. And uh, that, it was uh, obviously a very traumatic experience for her. And then a, uh, a couple of weeks later, she was at a, uh, at a fundraiser. She didn't want to go, but she had to go. Again, nursing homes uh, have to, uh, have to uh, get state, state money. You have to deal with politicians and, uh, and people you might not otherwise want to associate with, especially after they've raped you. So she's at this house uh, this, th- at this fundraiser, and uh, Hillary Clinton tracks her down and uh, gets her alone in the kitchen and fixes her with an icy glare and says, uh, we appreciate all you do for Bill. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing stuff. And so, uh, we're going to talk to, we've talked to Juanita in the past and, uh, we tried to get her last week to come on. Uh, she, she was quoted as saying that uh, she wouldn't mind sitting in the first row at last week's debate. So we tried to get her on. We didn't get an answer. So I wrote, I wrote a column about it, uh, in the Herald the Boston Herald, where I uh, where I have a column, and uh, she saw it in Little Rock and called me yesterday or tweeted me, and uh, I, I talked to her yesterday afternoon, and uh, she's going to be on the show, and we're going to talk to her. It's, it seems like it's a good time to to talk to her even this week because there's a story in the New York Times today about uh, about what Hillary did to try to uh, to silence the uh, the women who were uh, victims of her her husband. And uh, we'll talk to her about that. And you know, you know, this thing about uh, biting the lower lip. This is a, this is a uh, a recurring pattern in uh, Bill's assaults on women. He uh, uh, Elizabeth Ward Grayson was a former Miss America from uh, from Arkansas, and uh, she is she's told uh, conflicting stories about whether she was raped or not. But one thing she always has said is that she, is that Clinton bit her lower lip when he, she called it rough sex, even when she said it was consensual. So uh, this is, this is what he does. And, uh, you, you know, there's a, we'll, we'll get into the, uh, the, the sort of the, uh, the intimidation that, uh, that goes on uh, when you're a, uh, a victim of Bill Clinton. Uh, for instance, um, they got her during the, um, during the Paula Jones lawsuit back in the uh, late 1990s when he was president, they got her to sign an affidavit saying that she hadn't been raped. But then uh, when Ken Starr, the special prosecutor, sent his investigators down to, uh, to, to uh, question her, she told the truth. 
and uh, you know she's she's had a she's had a tough time of it, and she's she's worried about her safety. Or well, that's what we've been. She's been quoted as saying she was worried about her safety. We'll ask her about that when we when we get back. But uh, we will have uh, Juanita Broder with us after this uh, this break. She's uh, 73 years old now, and uh, she's been in a uh, she's she's been uh, texting or tweeting back and forth with uh, Chelsea Clinton in recent days. By the way, there's a story on the Drudge Report about uh, Bill Clinton's uh, alleged uh, illegitimate uh, half black son, and again, that's never been proven. But it's uh, back in the, it's back in the news today. Go to DrudgeReport.com; they're all over it. I'm Howie Carr. <laughs> 